Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys what OBS Virtual Camera is and how you can use it with other applications. So when we're talking about virtual cameras, what we're really talking about is taking the output video from one program or source that of course is digital, hence the virtual, and then showing that in another program like Zoom or Skype. So what we can basically do is take what you're seeing on screen in this OBS window right now, exactly what I'm recording, and to push that to the video that you would show other people on Skype or on a Zoom call. In order to use virtual camera, you just need to hit the start virtual camera button here in the controls bottom right hand section of the OBS window. And then you can open up another program that can use attached cameras to your computer like a webcam and you can use the virtual camera as a substitute for a webcam. So if I open up Skype here, I can click on the three dots to go into the settings. And then when we go down to audio and video, you have the ability to select a camera from your computer. So you can see here, we have the option to use a standard webcam, but we also now have the option to use OBS virtual camera. So with OBS virtual camera selected, what I would be showing someone if I wish to call them on Skype would be exactly what you see here. Now you may notice in Skype and Zoom that by default when you use a virtual camera, it does flip the video source. So when I'm on the left side in OBS, I end up on the right side over here. So I haven't seen a direct way to change that in Skype, but what you could do is flip your video sources inside of OBS. So if you want to make sure you appear on the left side of the screen and you're gonna be using the virtual camera but not recording, then you can right click on your video sources, go to transform, and then you can do flip horizontal and move yourself to the other side of the screen. And if you're screencasting like this, you can just flip the screencast as well. So right click, transform, flip horizontal. So not too hard of a workaround. Let's go ahead and flip that back. So let's close out of Skype for right now. And let me show you how to do the same thing in Zoom. So in Zoom, we can click on the settings icon in the top right hand before we start a Zoom conference. And we go down to video and make sure that you select camera, OBS virtual camera as your input source. So the option, so the difference here is that mirror my video is an option and I believe it is actually checked by default. So if you want it unchecked, just go ahead and toggle that on or off as you desire. So with OBS virtual camera selected, once again, if you start a Zoom call or Skype call, that's gonna be the video that you're showing to the other person. But in a nutshell, that's the basics of how to use a virtual camera and what it can do for you. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.